I have placed this BD139 transistor on the breadboard like this. So you have to place like this. Okay. You can take any type of breadboard. So I have breadboard like this. So I take this. Okay. So this BD139 has three legs. So from the first leg, you have to we should place this uh, resistor this resistor value is 2.2 ohms resistor so we place this resistor on the first leg of this transistor so like this you have to place like this okay so now we need this 12 kilo ohms of resistor okay we should place this resistor on the third pin of this transistor so keep it like this with the resistor like this okay so you can see clearly okay we need this uh, ceramic capacitor you can see the value 100 pf the value of this uh, capacitor is 100 pf so we have to place like this across this resistor you can clearly see okay you must place like this okay we need another capacitor of 22 pf this capacitor value is 22 pf i am keeping this capacitor across the pin 1 and 2 of this transistor so i place between pin 1 and pin 2 so like this okay you can clearly now we need to design an inductor so for that we need a tester or screwdriver like this so i am going to make a coil like this okay 1 2 3 4 5 4 to 5 okay 4 to 5 turns is enough for making this to work this transmitter to work okay so I've, I've made this coil like this so i'm placing this coil i'm placing the, this coil like this okay i'll show clearly the coil has two legs one leg goes here here and another goes to second leg of this transistor so our coil is ready okay our coil is ready now we need a switch it is not compulsory so it is optional so i place the switch like this the switch has two legs this is a micro switch so i place the switch like this okay so one pin is left another pin is connected to this capacitor inductor and resistor network okay so our um, project is ready transmitter project is ready so now we are going to give the supply this is a 9 volt battery i am placing okay the negative goes to this 2.2 ohms of resistor okay and this positive lead goes to this switch connection so our transmitter is successfully completed so this is a transmitter section and if you need the transmitter to go far you need an antenna because this antenna propagate to longer distances so we can communicate with the receiver part receiver part in two meters okay so this antenna should be placed on the second pin of this transistor so i placed the second place to the second pin of this transistor so now all section is completed circuit is completed so now we are going to make this receiver section okay now we need to place this lm358 ic this lm352 ic to this breadboard okay so connect like this 
and you can see uh, how it is connected the notch is on the left side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 is the numbering of this IC so now we need a 1 and 3 4 diode so this diode is connected uh, this diode has got a minus sign over here this is a marking so we need to connect this minus over the third pin 1 2 3 third pin okay so that th this third pin we connect this uh, diode okay we have connected this negative sign on this third pin and now we need to take uh, another 134 diode like this okay so we need to connect the negative sign over here so like this so the po positive sign will go here this is the negative sign okay so like this we have to connect okay now we need this jumbo wire this jumbo wire is to be connected from this fourth pin of this IC to this ground of this I ground of this breadboard okay so you need to connect like this okay so it is shorted to this uh, rail now we need to uh, now we need a 330 ohms of resistor okay so 330 ohms of resistor should go like this from the first pin of this IC you need to connect like this okay so connect like this so one pin is left here so now we need to connect this uh, LED to monitor the output so so the long leg so the la long leg of this uh, LED should go to this uh, this uh, 330 ohms and the negative of this LED goes to negative of the rail breadboard rail okay now the connection is over so now we have to connect this 47 ohms of 47 kilo ohms of resistor we need this 47 kilo ohms of resistor so from this second pin of this IC you need to short with this fourth pin so the 47 ohms should go like this from the second pin of this IC to the fourth pin of this IC from the second pin to the fourth pin this 47 kilo ohms of resistor is connected okay now we need a capacitor a 100 pf capacitor it is optional so we need to connect in the capacitor like this one and two so we connected this uh, capacitor over pin number one and pin number two now the connections are over now we need to connect this supply this is a six volt battery so the battery supply should go like this the posture of this battery should go to 8 pin this is the 8 pin or this IC so we need we are connecting the battery here and the negative of this uh, battery will go to the ground rail ok ok now our connections are over now we need a, an antenna connection antenna is connected here to get more range the range of this uh, uh, this transistor reservoir is we can get the signal propagated to 1 to 2 meters of distance so now we are going to test the transmitter and reservoir is working or not so this is the on off switch of this transmitter so i just press this button ok you can see the transmitter signal from this transmitter goes here and receives here and it turn on this LED so the transmitter zero is connected ok so it will receive any signal but specifically this signal because uh, we have designed the circuit like this for transmission and reception so this is not a, not a tuned circuit 